today's object is something so humble, so basic, that you probably don't give it a moment's thought. And yet, you've used it to make your innermost thoughts tangible, to produce your first calculations, and to record and save your basic needs in the memory of a shopping list. It's a pencil. Now we can trace the cultural origins of this tool right back through its ancestry. In fact, there are clues woven into our language. The word pencil comes from the Latin for little tail, and it's used to describe the little ink brushes that people once used to record their messages. Now in ancient times, scribes used a metal stylus to mark their papyrus, and this was often made out of a soft metal like lead, which was grey. And lead continued to be used in this way for millennia. But then, in the 15th century, a large greyish-black rock was discovered in the Lake District in Borrowdale, and it looked like lead, but it left a darker, stronger mark. And an entire industry was set up to mine this fantastic mark-making material, which was known as black lead, or plumbago from the Latin for lead ore. Farmers used it to mark their sheep, but before long, people were making narrow rods of it to write with. Now, black lead was more fragile than actual lead, so it needed to be bound in string or encased in a sandwich of wood. The pencil was born, or, it was, or as it was originally called, the plumbago. Now, black lead is not lead, of course. It's actually graphene, which comes from the Greek meaning to write. Now, a pencil lead is actually made up of a type of carbon that is latticed in layers of horizontal hexagonal molecules that can slide over each other easily. So when you write with a pencil, what you're actually doing is pressing a layer of these carbon molecules onto the paper. Now, people soon discovered that the soft mark could be rubbed out with breadcrumbs. But it was Joseph Priestley of, uh, of oxygen fame, he was the discoverer of oxygen, who invented rubber rubbers after experimenting with tree resin. It's strange to think that the very same soft element that gently marks paper can also form the very hardest crystal, diamond, when the carbon molecules were arranged differently. Now, pencils became enormously popular globally, and Borrowdale was at the centre of this burgeoning industry, jealously guarding its graphite mines. In fact, there was such an intense period of smuggling when the price of the material went up, because it was also used in uh, cannonballs, that for a time the mine was closed. It was only open for activity, for mining activity, for six weeks out of every five years in order to just conserve that very precious reserve. But eventually, other sources were found around the world and pencils are now cheap and ubiquitous. And they have many uses.